What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandebred Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago. Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. Stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior, a Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and 
And I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. You can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the mead, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... Comforting to hear. I've long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. I wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Ranvi? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Sunen, guide me. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I want to see the Alliance map. 